Okay, so this part of the video is going to go over the glass etching process. So you should have uh, carved a design in some duct tape with uh, an X-Acto knife and exposed some glass in whatever design that you have chosen. And what you're going to do is go to the area of the classroom that has this armor etch cream. Now this is hydrofluoric acid, HF. Um, that is totally different from hydrochloric acid, the kind in your stomach. This one will actually eat through glass, which is why it's stored in plastic containers. And so what you're going to need to do is open it. It's got one of those child lids, so you'll have to push and twist to open that up. When you're done, please put the lid back on tightly so that it won't dry out and we can use it again. Um, there should be a glass full of brushes, and you're going to pick one of those, dip it into this cream. It's kind of... Um, I don't know, glue consistency, and you're going to dab that on to the, the exposed glass in your design. You don't want to paint it on with streaks because then you'll end up with streaks in the etching. So you just want to kind of dab that on with the paintbrush. If you need to get more, dip the paintbrush in again. Try not to get this stuff all over the place, but you try really hard not to get it anywhere on the parts of the glass that you don't want to be etched because it will etch it. So um, keep that in your design. If you have a design that goes really close to the edge of your duct tape, maybe add a piece of duct tape to that area so that none of that etching cream gets beyond the duct tape. And so when you've got that done, you can see here it's kind of a thick layer. It's not super globby thick, but it's thick enough that we can't really see through it. And all of the design is covered there, okay? You're gonna let that sit, rinse off your brush, and put it back in the glass. You don't have to touch it, just put it back in the glass. And then again, close that lid really tightly. Okay, and then the final step, so this one has been sitting here, it needs to sit for about five to 10 minutes. It doesn't need to sit any longer than that. But once it's been sitting there for that long, you're going to rinse this in the sink. You can use warm or cold water, it doesn't matter. But what you do wanna do is use your hands to rub off that cream while you're rinsing it. So make sure that you really rub this while it's in the water to get all of that etching cream off, okay? Rub your design with your thumb. You can be gentle or more vigorous with that. It doesn't matter, just don't break your glass, okay? And then it's not gonna look like it's etched until it's dry and you have a contrast with the, the unetched glass. So what you wanna do, you can dry that off with a paper towel, okay? But you wanna peel the tape to really get that contrast. So I'm gonna just peel this tape real quick. And the reason why I'm going through this entire process in front of you is because I wanna show you what will happen if you don't complete. Okay, so peeling the tape is kind of the most annoying part of this project, but just get all those little bits of tape off. Okay. The more complicated your design, the longer this will take you, so sorry, but you have to do more work to get something more comp complex. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this really well in the camera shot here, but if I leave this as it is, um, there's some areas on the edges of my design that are kind of white, and that is extra hydrofluoric acid, and it will leach into the glass and make your design less crisp and more blurry. So you really want to rinse it again after you have peeled the tape and rub that whole area with your thumbs so that you can get all of that off and all the extra glue from the duct tape will come off too, okay? But the etching will stay behind on that glass, okay? Then dry it off for the final time. Okay, 
and again when you dry it that's when you really start to see that etched product so we end up seeing that nice crisp image after you dry it and this can be washed in the dishwasher at home um, it's a little bit weaker in this section so if you drop it and it hits that on something it'll probably break but that's the only drawback to etching glasses you just create a weakness so um, good luck with that and I hope you enjoy your final product